live, trance, and prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips, and welcome to my home, or part of it anyway. Uh, today I'm going to rant a bit. I'm going to talk a little bit about Archbishop Robert J. Carlson of St. Louis, uh, who was giving testimony about his knowledge of priest child molesters. Now, the uh, video's been around for a while, but it's being recently shared on Facebook. And if you watch the video, you can see very clearly what's going on, except Carlson says that uh, it's not quite the whole story, that uh, the, his words in which he says he didn't realize uh, an adult having sex with children was a crime, uh, he says that that video, those words are being taken out of context because actually what he was, the entire deposition, he was being asked about whether or not he had knowledge of Minnesota law, which mandates, it's a mandatory reporting of incidences of child abuse. That is, if you're aware about that and so when he says I wasn't aware that was a crime uh, that's what he's talking about but uh, if you watch the video it's a little different in fact why don't you watch that video now I'm just gonna shut up for a minute and I'm gonna put the video right over there so go ahead and look over there and watch the video Archbishop, um, you knew it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid. Uh, I'm not sure whether I knew it was a crime or not. I understand today it's a crime. When did you first discern that it was a crime for an adult to engage in sex with a kid? I don't remember. When did you first discern that it was a crime for a priest to engage in sex with a kid? Who... Uh, um, he had under his control. Um, I don't remember that either. Do you have any doubt in your mind that you knew that in the 70s? I don't remember if I did or didn't. In 1984, you are a bishop in the auxiliary bishop in the archdiocese of uh, St. Paul in Minneapolis. You knew it was a crime then, right? I'm not sure if I did or didn't. And we're back. All right, I don't know about you, but when I watch that video, it seems that the questions are pretty specific to were you aware or when did you find out when and you became aware that an adult having sex with children is a crime? It wasn't about the mandatory reporting law. Those few questions were much more specific in regard to did you realize that having sex with children was a crime? To which Carlson says, well, I, I'm aware now, but I may not have been aware then. Now, I understand why he wants to fudge things a bit and to put a spin on his testimony because his testimony was essentially him trying to save his own ass in terms of this horrific thing that happened under his watch that he didn't do enough to stop. And so he doesn't want to appear to be a horrible person, so... I didn't know it was a crime, or it's not me. I know now it was wrong. But dude, really, it doesn't matter if you are aware of the mandatory reporting laws. You were aware that an adult having sex with children is a violation of that child's entity and rights. Whether or not you were aware that it was a crime, you, you know it was a crime. You were aware it was a crime. 
You can pretend that you didn't know, but you knew. If you are an adult living in today's world, you know that an adult having sex with children is a crime, particularly small children, youngsters. Now, here's the thing though. One of the questions you were asked was, were you aware that an adult priest having sex with children over which that priest has control was a crime? To which you said, I, I'm not sure if I was aware at that time. Dude, you knew, and even in church law, you know, the Catholic priests aren't supposed to be having sex with anybody. I disagree with that. I think priests should have sex. I think priests should enjoy sex. In fact, I think it should be mandatory that if you are a spokesperson for the divine, you should not only have regular sex, you should enjoy it. But that's just me. However, in your belief system, you know that it was wrong for a priest to have sex with children. That's a violation of not only your so-called beliefs, at the core is a violation of another person's soul. Now, sure, some children seem to have consensual sex with adults. And there are people who say that the laws of consent should be, the age should be lower. I disagree strongly with that because a child who consents to sex is not the same as an adult who consents to sex. An adult understands the full ramifications, children don't. An adult who has power over that child has power over a person. And even though there may be an implication that this could be consensual, it's not because of the power dynamic. If you're a teacher, you shouldn't have sex with young students. If you're a priest, you shouldn't have sex with children. This is just simple math. And you have failed at your simple ethical math. In my opinion, others may disagree. Others may look at the video and see something completely different than what I see. But I see what I see, I feel what I feel, and I've spoken these words, that's my rant. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed at least some of this rant. Uh, if you did, click the old subscribe button. Yay! Uh, so that you can get notices whenever there's new videos and things like that. If you didn't enjoy it, um, click the old subscribe button. Or don't. It's up to you. This has been a rant. This is Dr. Brian David Phillips wishing you live trans and prosper. Bye-bye.